Hey guys, Viper here, and today I'm gonna show you how to stream your Roblox gameplay to YouTube using OBS. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your entire actual recording gameplay, as you can see in the background, how to set up your microphone, how to set up a, a face cam, and all that fun stuff. So, first things first is you wanna make sure you have a separate scene for your actual live stream. As you can see, I have one for my actual game recording, as well as my streaming, so I don't get the two mixed up, or I don't have to really rearrange items within just one single scene. So, if you wanna go and create a new scene, bottom left, hit that lovely little plus icon, Icon, title it whatever you want hit ok and you have a brand new scene for you guys to go and create it with now for the sources you're gonna have nothing here and if you guys want to go and record your entire screen and also do not use this when you're actually trying to record your gameplay it's just gonna have horrible FPS but if you want to do something where you actually just drag in like the game you go and talk about it this is what you want to do for that guys so you want to go hit the plus and you want to go up to display capture hit display uh, title it whatever you want I'm gonna say hey, okay I'm this bad boy and as you can see this is my second monitor if I go to monitor 2 you'll see this one right here make sure you hit capture the cursor if you want people to see where your cursor is going and that's all you need to know for that if you want to record your actual gameplay and just the gameplay only hit the lovely plus icon go up to a game capture this is the one where you want to choose for whatever game you're going to record and you want to set one up individually for every single game you play whether that is minecraft or roblox create a separate one for all those so hit game capture let's title this roblox hit uh actually i'm not to put in two x because i have different ones over here uh hit okay and uh it's gonna say capture full screen application you want to hit capture a specific window click on the window click roblox player when i click this it's gonna actually remove the obs so just know that i'm gonna just hit okay right after this so hit that hit okay and boom as you can see obs just now got removed so i can look around everything looks insanely smooth from your guys's perspective now i'm going to go back to obs and i'm actually going to move this one under my display so you guys can see the entire obs settings and everything like that but that is really all you need to know about actually setting up the actual gameplay now for your actual camera you want to go hit plus and go up to video capture device click on that bad boy i'm just going to call it camera just because why not and as you can see, there's my face, it's really big. And what I wanted to do real quick is I actually had to turn my camera volume off or would have a horrible echo for a lot of this. I'm gonna minimize myself here. Basically just drag from the corner, you're able to actually move your camera around, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you wanna do, feel free to be uh, your own boss. Uh, I like slapping it in a corner normally because that's normally the best I like to do. Now, if you hold a control, uh, never mind, if you hold your options, uh, you should be able to go and actually move in the actual borders of the camera itself. So you just wanna have your face, boom, crop your face, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you wanna do, and slap it in the corner, and that is all said and done. And really important, make sure you mute your camera. Uh, you can just hit that. Uh, bring down the volume all the way down so your camera volume does not go over your microphone volume There will be zero echo or anything like that Then of course if you just want to hit the option and go down and just hit hide because it's not really needed Unless the only microphone you're using is from the camera, but there's no point in actually doing that Next up we are going to be going over actually all of the settings for live streaming and this is really dependent on your device as well as your internet for me my internet's awful so i can't really stream too much but you, what you want to do guys is go down hit settings it's going to pop up this lovely tab right here you want to go to output and go to the streaming section make sure the output mode is on advanced for the encoder if you have the nvidia nvenc h264 use it it's basically if you have an nvidia graphics card it's the best one it's better than the regular h264 uh make sure you use it for the rescale output, you don't really have to mess with this unless you're trying to actually make it smoother running for your actual device when streaming. So if you have like a 1080p monitor, you can downscale it to 720. So it's a little less taxing overall. Then of course, for the, the rate control, you wanna use a CBR and the bit rate is really where it's like really gonna vary for a lot of you. My internet is horrible, so I can't really go above 5,000 without my internet just screwing me over. So if you wanna really go and choose something, uh, if you have really good internet, do 16,000. That is the average for actual 1080p 60 FPS content. For the keyframe interval, slap that bad boy at one. Preset is gonna be a low latency quality. My profile is on high. Make sure you have a look ahead and a cycle visual tuning both checked. GPU on zero, max boot frames on two. I'm pretty sure those two are the actual default. Um, when you're done with these settings, make sure you go down to the bottom right and hit apply. If you don't hit apply, none of your settings are gonna be saved at all. So please make sure to go and do that. Um, next up, we're gonna go to stream and this is where you're gonna basically set up your stream key and everything like that. Do not show anyone what your stream key is or they will be able to stream on your account and you do not want that heap of mess, guys. But you're able to go and like use the stream key. You're able to go into your actual YouTube account. I'm not gonna show mine just because 
that's my stream key. I don't need someone trying to guess it or anything like that. There are many tutorials on actually how to get it and stuff like that. Really simple. But yeah, you're gonna go use stream key, link your stream key and all that stuff. That's basically how you link it to YouTube or to your Twitch, whatever uh, website you wanna go and stream on. Then you wanna go to your video settings. And this is where you can have your base resolution, which mine is that's a 1080p monitor. So I'm not gonna downscale at all. I'm just gonna keep it 1080p. For the downscale filter, uh, I have mine set to the 36 samples. If your PC isn't the best, maybe drop it to the 16 samples. Uh, if you can run it, make sure you use 36. That's the best one for you. Then if you wanna get really smooth FPS, make sure you to use common FPS values. I have mine set at 60 and that's all that's said and done because YouTube only supports 60 FPS content. So no reason to really go above it. If you want, you could probably jump it to 50 or maybe to like 40. 30 and below, it gets really choppy. So try to stay above that at most, maybe do 50. Uh, if you have like a more of a low end device but yeah guys that's basically how you set up an entire live stream now for the microphone guys uh what you want to do is you want to come down to this lovely audio mixer and you'll see your mic slash audio or aux uh go down to the bottom right click that gear icon go up to properties and this is where you're gonna see all the uh, device options you have for you which we i'm using just my default one which is this microphone here and the thing about this is it is an actual professional studio microphone and if you do not want to spend that amount of money on a microphone i would highly recommend this lovely microphone that fine fine sent out for me to go interview it for you guys so if you're looking for a microphone that it doesn't cost over a thousand dollars that's a really professional one or you're looking for someone that doesn't really break the bank with hundreds of dollars like the stress m7b would that cost like four hundred dollars you have to buy the actual audio equipment to actually process the audio and run it and basically power the entire system if you just want a simple usb microphone that is really high quality better than like a blue snowball or a blue yeti I would highly recommend this one, which I will be using for the rest of the video. So if you would like to compare the audio from a professional microphone to something that is actually a bit more in budget, there you go, guys. And yeah. Now, when you finally have the microphone actually plugged in, you want to go to the bottom, hit that gear icon, like I said, go to properties. So when you're in the actual properties for your microphone slash aux, what you want to do is on the device, click down on that bad boy, and the microphone is going to be called the Fine Fine K658D. All you have to do select that bad boy and boom my microphone is going to be changed and it's going to sound way different because one my old microphone right here is a lot more of an expensive one compared to this one which is more of a budget one for a lot of you guys actually starting out with content creation which this is an actual perfect microphone because you know it looks cool when you're actually streaming you can get an actual like mic arm for it and actually not have it just propped up on the simple like three arm stand but another important thing i'd like to go over regarding your game audio and your microphone audio is the actual layers you're recording onto now if i go over to my settings and go back over to output then of course uh streaming as you can see, um, you're gonna wanna select your certain audio checks you wanna go and record. Now it says one through six, and you may not know exactly what any of those may be. So what you wanna do is hit um, cancel. You wanna go down to that gear icon on any of your audio devices in the audio mixer. Click on that and go to advanced audio properties. And this is where all of the magic is gonna happen. Um, for my camera specifically, I do not wanna record the audio, so I'm just gonna uncheck all of these so that no matter what happens, the audience or the viewers watching your live stream are not going to hear the camera audio, which is going to be 12 times horrible than an actual microphone. Um, then, of course, for your actual desktop, I normally have that set to two. And for my mic, I have that set to one. So these are on two separate like audio layers. So my, mic is, my mic's on one, my desktop audio or my gameplay audio is on the other, and they are not going to roll over each other and I'm able to adjust those accordingly. Now with that information, I have one checked on one and the other one is on two. And those are the two tracks I'm going to be using it for this live stream if you have an actual like discord call you have that set on three and so forth for however many audio tracks you want so hit close on that once you have that all set up go down to settings again go over to output and on the streaming section specifically make sure to check audio tracks one and audio track two of course i can't because i am actually recording so i won't let me check them really at all but basically you're gonna want to go and check those two or however many like audio tracks you're going to be using and that's what the audience is going to be able to hear and yeah guys that is going to be it for today's video if you have any questions feel free to go comment them down below i will try to answer them to the best of my ability and of course guys if you would like to check out the fine fire microphone that i'm using in my video there will be a link down below in the description so feel free to go check it out if you do enjoy the actual audio quality of course compared to this mic it is a lot different because this is a professional microphone i would not recommend this for a beginner i'd recommend more of a mic just as this for a beginner because it's at a price range that is not over the top but you know a lot of people are 
still able to afford it but yeah guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to go drop a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys